Hey guys, so I've got a new tutorial for you today and this is going to be about what a lot of people have actually suggested and it's going to be about fall damage. So I'm going to show you a really basic simple way to calculate fall damage based on your player's position and its last position and then you know, doing setting some values to say after we fall, fall on a certain amount we take off so much health and we'll just be doing this really quickly today. All I've got is my first person controller which you'll need and just a box to stand on so we've got some height. So what we'll do initially we'll start off by creating a JavaScript file and what we'll do is we'll call this fall damage and open up in mono develop. Once you've done that I'll zoom in a little bit and then what we'll do is delete these first two functions and initially what we'll say is variable last position y as type float equal to 0 f with a semicolon. Then another variable called fall distance as type float equal to 0 f with a semicolon. Then also variable player as type transform with a capital T and then a semicolon. And then we'll actually have a private variable We'll have a private variable called controller and set that to type character controller because we're going to reference the character controller to make sure that we're actually on the floor or grounded in terms of this. So we'll have one more variable which is called current health. Set that as type flow equal to 10.0f with a semicolon. Then we'll start by writing function start two brackets two curly brackets below and we'll say that controller equals game object dot find open brackets in quotes first person controller close that up dot get component open brackets character controller and then what we'll do under here that's okay we can write a start by writing function update and then add two curly brackets below here and we'll start by saying that if last position y is greater than player dot transform which is lowercase dot position dot y then close that up then we'll add two curly brackets below and say that fall distance is plus equals to last position y minus player dot transform dot position dot y with a semicolon and then underneath those two curly brackets we'll say that last position y is equal to player dot transform dot position dot y with a semicolon and then what we'll say under there we'll leave two line breaks and we'll say that if fall distance is greater than or equal to five and and controller dot is grounded close that up but then we'll add two curly brackets below there and say that current health is minus equal to five with a semicolon and then we'll say apply normal and what this is going to be is going to be a function that we're going to create to make sure that we can reset all our values so when we're not actually falling anymore then we we'll want to write another if statement so if we'll do it very similarly if that fall distance oh one thing that it's made a mistake is i don't want that i just want that to be named controller so what we'll do is we'll copy this line again paste that in if falls distance but this time is less than or equal to five and is grounded what we're going to do is just apply normal so we'll add two curly brackets under there and just apply normal and then the last thing we'll do is we'll add a couple of line breaks and then we'll say function apply normal with two brackets then two curly brackets I'll just zoom out a little bit and then we'll say fall distance is equal to zero with a semicolon and then last position y is equal to zero with a semicolon. 
so that then what we'll do is save out our script and I'll quickly go through what this all means is that we've got a set of variables which are going to um, help us calculate the actual distance that we've traveled um, and then we've got a health what we're going to do is we're finding the controller so we can tell whether the player's on the floor or not we'd, or what we're doing in the update function we're checking if the player's last position so if we're falling and we're changing the Y position which is here every time we're falling we're going to be updating this last position so where we were um, a, fr a frame before when the update updates and then fall distance is going to increase depending on how far we fall down and then here if we um, if we fall with a greater of distance of 5 we'll take damage if we don't um, do much damage we'll just apply the normal values to make sure that we're not falling more than what we need to take off and we're actually on the floor so if you want a really quick um, health GUI what we'll do is under here we'll write function on GUI two brackets then two curly brackets then we'll say GUI dot box open brackets rect bracket 10 comma 20 comma 50 comma 20 close that up add a comma add two quotes then say plus current health close that up add a semicolon then what we'll do is we'll save that out and what we'll do is we'll add this fall damage script to our first person controller and you can see that last position and this and all this is set to what we initially set we need to add our first person controller to the player slot and now what we'll do you'll see if I start the platform you'll notice on this side and up here my current health is equal to 10 now if I fall you'll notice that last position and things update and see I took a, a distance that was more than 5 of a fall it took 5 damage off my player so obviously you can see down the left that the fall distance that we're doing and when we hit the floor we'll set everything to zero so we can't be taking any damage anymore so realistically that's just a basic way you can obviously add more values in here so if you take more than 10 damage then you take it you get killed whatever and if you want to um, s load a new screen all you need to do is that you need to make an if statement so if current health is e uh, less than or equal to zero then application dot load level and you can load a new level up but that was just a very basic way of making sure that we take two positions take them away from each other make sure we add that to a fall distance and then apply damage accordingly so thanks very much for watching and as ever don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers